Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. It's October of 2017, and I think this has the potential to be one of my most popular videos in the next couple years because it's on the topic of activating SSL on your WordPress website, or really any website for that matter. SSL is a security standard for website communication that adds the S to HTTP in your URL, and more importantly, it secures the data transfer, and it protects sensitive data from being publicly accessed. I'm not going to get into all the technical details in this video because most of you probably don't care and you could read it somewhere else if you want to. What you probably do want to know is how to get SSL on your site because of the recent news that Google Chrome is going to be flagging sites that don't have SSL security. So there are different ways to activate SSL on your WordPress site, but I'm going to show you my favorite way. It might take a couple extra steps, it's still quick, and I like the fact that it doesn't require a plugin to continuously run on your site. So make sure to check out my blog post that I linked to below the video. I'm gonna cover more SSL details, uh, and I'm also gonna link to this guide from security.net uh, where they go into more detail on how to install an SSL certificate that might cover some different details that I don't cover in this video. So the first step to this process of getting SSL on your website is to check to see if you have a certificate. Uh, an SSL certificate needs to be present on your web host in order for this to work. So you can contact your web host. Many of them are providing free certificates uh, with hosting. Sometimes it's an added cost. Uh, you can talk to your host, ask them if you have one on your website. Uh, on your hosting currently and maybe ask them if they'll install it because they might install it for you uh, or some premium hosting um, companies have one click installation where you they have it built in where you just click something and it's going to install on your website so contact your host first but one easy way to check if it's active on your site is by going to your site and you see this one this site here does not have security on it uh, it doesn't have security installed on the website so I'm just at the HTTP version of the site. So in order to check if there's a certificate installed, I'm just gonna type HTTPS and then go to the site and you'll see that the site loads with HTTPS, um, which means the certificate's installed on the host, um, but I haven't set it up in WordPress. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you don't have a certificate installed on your host, you'll probably see an error like this where the HTTPS is crossed off and it says not secure. So the next step you wanna take after you confirm that the SSL certificate is installed on your host is to log into WordPress. Uh, and then from the dashboard, you go to settings, general. And what we need to do is change the WordPress address and the site address. So you'll probably see both of them as HTTP. I'm just gonna add the S to both of them and then typically when you click save it's going to ask you to log in again so now the main url for the site is https but if you were to go to the chrome browser here you'll see um, there's a warning it says it's not a warning but it's an info box it says your connection is not fully secure and there's not the green padlock here which we'd be looking for for a secure site so the next step to fix that is to use a search and replace plugin so you do need a plugin for this, but you only need to use it once to update your database. You can use a lot of different find and replace plugins. I'm using one called search and replace. Uh, and here is the author here. Uh, I'm gonna go to tools, search and replace. And I'm gonna click on the search and replace tab. I'm gonna search for the first part of the domain. Usually I leave the a portion of the domain out because otherwise it gives me an error. It doesn't want to change the site URL. So I'm going to search for the non-HTTPS version and then replace it with the S added. I need to select all tables, uncheck dry run, and then select save changes to the database. And I'm going to click do search and replace. So it went ahead and processed those changes. So now I've gone back to the live site and I've refreshed it. At first I wasn't getting this secure icon here. I think it had something to do with being logged in to uh, the admin for WordPress. So I logged out and uh, then refreshed and I was able to confirm that it was HTTPS. So it's secure now and I can click around some of the different pages of the site to make sure that, that um, it's still staying on the uh, secure version. Uh, if you refresh and you're continuing to get the um, 
warning or the info box that says the site is not secure or there's non-secure items still on the site. Then as a last step, I like to use a site like whynopadlock.com and you can paste in the URL and search for it and it'll give you a list of the items on your site that are not secure. So then you can troubleshoot those and figure out what, what those might be and then get those fixed. Sometimes there's other scripts running on your site. Sometimes there's images. Maybe for some reason your uh, find a replace plugin wasn't able to fix, but it'll show you a list here and then you can uh, go ahead and troubleshoot those. So even though your site now is running on HTTPS and it's secure, there is still one more step because someone could still load your site without typing HTTPS and end up on the insecure version of the site. And as I'm loading the site, it does seem to be redirecting to HTTPS, but a lot of times you'll find, depending on your host and your settings, that people could just you know type the domain by itself and then land on your uh, non-secure version of the site. So the last step you want to take to fix that is editing your HT access file. This gets a little bit complicated and you can really mess up your site if you mess up this file. So you gotta be careful, make sure to save a backup of it. You can also ask your host to make the change for you. Um, but I'm gonna make the change within cPanel using the file manager. You can also do it with FTP to locate the file and then um, it's just a text file and then you can change it. So in the file manager for control panel, I need to go to settings and then show hidden files so that HT access is available. I'm gonna edit it. And this might look different for everybody, but right here, it's just a basic HT access file for WordPress. And then I have a copy of it here with just two lines that I add. So these two bolded lines, I will copy and then paste right in place. And then all I have to do is change the domain name to the domain of the site that I'm working on and then click save. So what that does is ensures that if anyone links to or t types in the site without the S in it, the secure version, it's going to redirect them to the uh, HTTPS version of the site. So just to give you an idea how important this is, this is the Google security blog, uh, the post that they wrote in September 2016 showing that uh, in January of 2017 they're showing non-secure sites as not secure and the next step they will be taking in the Google Chrome browser is to show this red uh, warning that says not secure and it's going to start on sites that um, have a form or some type of text input that could be you know secure information uh, and eventually they're probably going to do this on all sites so almost every website is going to want to be HTTPS uh, and it's pretty much going to become the standard. Uh, we're moving in that direction. So this is a very important video. It should help most of you out who need to switch your WordPress site to HTTPS. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. If you found it useful, uh, make sure to click the thumbs up so that other people can find it. Make sure to check out my blog post as well. Like I said, I'm going to post some other information about SSL, like pricing and where to get free ones. That's going to be changing in the coming months. Uh, more and more hosts are offering it for free. Um, so yeah, make sure to check out my blog post. I'll be posting updates there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.